With one of the deepest teams during head coach Dave Gifford's tenure at VCU, the Rams are looking to build their Atlantic 10 championship appearance and NCAA tournament trip from a year ago. You know, it's a, it's a good group. It's a deep group. There's a lot of good players. Uh, you know, I think certainly the most in terms of number of quality players that we've had in, in the first uh, you know, the first several years here. And so, you know, it's been a lot of competition and training and, and a lot of guys kind of jockeying for position and showing what they can do. And, you know, as coaches figuring out, you know, what the best combinations at different times and the best roles for some of the guys are. And Last season saw the black and gold battle their way to the conference championship match, route to a national seed and first round by in the NCAA tournament, leaving this year's squad hungry to return to postseason play. Who we're here is, you know, they got a little taste of, uh, of what it's like to play at the time of the year when it's the most fun, uh, when the most things are on the line. And, you know, more than anything kind of gave them the feeling of, you know, that's where they expect to be all the time. Um, now you can't skip through the process and, and just jump to that time of the year. Obviously, there'll, there'll be no easy games and, and every game on our schedule this year is going to be incredibly challenging. Um, you know, but I think the guys are just excited to to get back to work and, and to, to fight and jostle for positions here in preseason. And then, uh, you know, once we kick off next weekend, I think they're excited and ready to get started with that process. The Rams will challenge themselves this season as they play one of the most competitive schedules in the country, facing 11 NCAA tournament teams from last year, including a home match against defending national champion Indiana. And in all, VC will face eight of the last 10 national champions this fall. Uh, it's by far the most difficult schedule I've ever played as a coach. Uh, anywhere I've been and so it's uh, it's exciting I think for the players it's exciting both our out of conference games as, as well as our A-10 games uh, every game is going to be a grind and every game is going to present you know our team and our players with different challenges um, and, and there are no nights off you know college soccer is a little bit of a, a unique beast in that you know you cram you know 20 plus games into three three and a half months uh, and it goes quickly, and, and there really are no easy games. There are no nights off, um, really, for everyone. You know, certainly for us with this year's schedule, um, some of those games will be even a little more challenging, um, but certainly also a little more rewarding um, if you're able to, uh, to find some results in there. But more than anything, I, th I think our guys are, are going to be focused on the process if we can you know, focus on the challenges that each team presents, the lessons that we learn at the end of each of those games and are able to build on that, uh, I think we'll just continue to get better throughout the course of the year. As Coach Gifford enters his fourth season at VCU, he knows progress has been made in building VCU soccer, but realizes the potential for the Rams to be a national power is very realistic. With the current players, the former players, the people that supported the program, I think the expectations were that you know, we could get back into a position where we're one of the top teams in the country. Certainly as a, as a coaching staff, that was our goal. And, and as players in the team, that was our, their goal. Um, you know, and it's taken us three years to kind of jump back into that conversation. And, and certainly getting there is okay. It's nice. But, you know, we still have a lot of steps to go to, to continue to climb and improve on what we're doing. And, uh, you know, put ourselves in our ultimate goal, which is realistically being in the conversation to... Um, you win it all at the end. And so, uh, you know, we've still got some steps to make. This group certainly has a lot of those pieces and, and those could happen during the course of this fall. But, you know, but certainly going into preseason, I think every team feels that way, uh, you'd hope. And, uh, you know, for us, I think it, it is a realistic goal. And uh, right now we're just working on the process and, and trying to improve to, uh, to make that a reality.